here with uh, the school's new lecturer, Roxanne. So, hi, Roxanne. Hello. Uh, would you introduce yourself, please? Yes, my name is Roxanne Meyer Flint. I'm 30 years old. I um, am from California, Los Angeles. And um, I, this is my first year at Horvath Mihai, but I have been teaching for six years in Hungary. And uh, what do you think about Hungary? I like it. I think there's a lot of beautiful places. Um, the buildings are really old, and um, the, the students are very friendly. And uh, do you have a favorite Hungarian food or thing or something? Uh huh. I really like langos mm. with sour cream and cheese and garlic. Um, and I like most Hungarian foods, I think. I just don't like liver or poppy seeds. And what about the language? The language can be um, kind of difficult, um, but in some ways I think it's more uh, logical than English because you can kind of, you can make your own verbs, which I think is cool. Huh? And uh, about the teaching a little bit, what's the biggest difference between the Hungarian and American education system? Uh -huh. um, I don't know if this is about the education system, but I was thinking about that. And in America, in the schools, sports is a huge thing. Like, like a, a big portion of the, the school's budget goes into making uh, football fields and um, paying for um, uniforms and things like that for students. And also, if you excel in a sport in America, you can um, go to university through that sport, which I think is very different than Hungary. And uh, why did you become a teacher? Um, I was a secretary when I was living in America, and I really hated it because I felt like I didn't really have a connection to people. And, um, Teaching is a really direct connection to people compared to being a secretary. And uh, what was your first impression of the school when you came here? Uh, it's really big and I like the tall ceilings. It seems really old, but um, the classrooms are really hard to find because there's no uh, numbers above the doors and all the doors look different too. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about teenagers in this school? I like them so far. Um, I've had a lot of good interactions with people. Um, some of them are very eager to meet me. Some of them have never had a lecture teacher before, so it's kind of exciting for me because um, then I can be their first experience with a native speaker. And how do you handle a problem student? Um, luckily, at the, in the secondary school, I haven't had much of a problem with problem students. Um, generally, if you just uh, take them aside and you talk to them uh, and not embarrass them, then that works. In the primary school, it's maybe easier, but it's more common because the kids are little and you, and black points, black points, <laughs> black points are a big deal when you're six years old. When you're in secondary school, a black point, I don't think it's a thing. No, it's not a thing. How do you make sure that your students understand you? Um, I think, I mean, you would have to ask the students, but um, from my perspective, I try really hard to like get myself into the word or into the explanation, usually with my hands or with moving my body or something. Um, I also try, I always ask, do you understand? And even if they say yes, I usually explain it anyway. Um, and I try to explain everything in five different ways, if I can. Uh, what is your most memorable moment teaching? Um, I think my funniest moment was last year when a first grade student invited me to her wedding on the playground. <laughs> and, and I got an invitation in Hungarian that said, um, come to the oak tree for the wedding at two o'clock. And I thought it was really funny that, that, is, that a six-year-old or a seven-year-old 
um, like planned a wedding for two o'clock, and I really wanted to know if she actually went there, but I didn't go. Um, uh, and I also have good experiences, like um, I like to do the uh, lateral thinking exercises, and um, and with the lateral thinking exercises, I give the students a a scenario, and then they have to. Uh, ask me questions to say why did this thing happen and um, one time I just had really bizarre answers and it was just really funny and we were just cracking up about a poison sandwich or something like that. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for the interview. You're welcome, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.